Hey, good morning, good morning. Is it morning yet? No, it's actually... Yes, it is morning. It's almost 1 o'clock in the morning, matter of fact. I fell asleep, I woke back up. I looked at the news, I seen um, the vice president here, and you know, it's 51 years since they did the Rogue versus Wade. And you know what I'm going to say? You know, I had a lot of things happen during... I mean, have you ever had an experience that you really couldn't explain? You know, truly, I mean, have you, I mean, it's not like a, I had out of body experience, I had something like that, but I'll tell you what, something seemed like it, it happened, I've been working on this case and stuff, and I'll tell you what, I spun the wheel with Taylor Swift and I hit... I think it was zero. It landed on zero. And I, you can redo the thing, but I'm telling you, at that moment in time, everything changed in the fucking neighborhood like a, like a light switch happened, like some kind of a miracle happened. And all of a sudden, I mean, I've had all this goddamn pressure just fucking evaporate off of me. My neighbors, not weirded out no it's just silent it's beautiful it's like i couldn't it's like i haven't even experienced it. i just told ernie today i said geez i haven't even left the place for 10 fucking years i was just thinking about having my uh, a friend of mine jim van cleave bring me a brand new fucking car and have it delivered here at my fucking house i haven't been no place in 10 fucking years and i'll tell you another thing i had a white corvette and, you know, I gave it to my nephew. My nephew, they put so much pressure on him that he destroyed the fucking Corvette. I mean, and I don't blame him now. I goddamn don't blame him because they taught, they hauled off his kids, too. The fucking cops. So they kidnapped this fucking pit. The cops took their children here in Washington State. And, you know, here's the vice president, and I really do... I never voted for her, but I do think she's grown a lot in the last couple of years, you know, working around um, the president. The president is not a bad president. Here, what we have is we have people with poor fucking ethics. You know, here, you know, everybody likes somebody that's a little bit of a, you know, a cocky fucker. But I'll tell you, when that cocky fucker is nothing more than a fucking thief and he's running my fucking money and he's ruined my goddamn money, my personal money, I, I do say this guy's got goddamn balls. I got a gold mine that's in Nevada that got fucking robbed for me. My brother Jerry's involved in it, that little bitch right there. All of this stuff, and it's connected to that fucking bowling alley and that saw and stuff. And everything else. And Donald Trump has 727s. To me, Donald Trump's head fucking deserves right in a fucking noose. Why? Because he has everything to do with the Millhouse Smokehouse in Morton, Washington. That had everything to do with Watergate. That had everything to do with Nixon. That had everything to do with John F. Kennedy. And that now has everything to do with the Lebanese over there. George Fairhart and their family over there. Boy, I tell you, George Fairhart's never talked to me again. He never attempted to talk to me ever again. He went out of his way to not even look at me ever again. To be on my radar ever again. And you know what? I had been fucking put in the detention room all the fucking time in the office. Taken right out of my fucking classes and stuff. And sat down there and fucking wrote sentences. Every fucking day I fucking go, go to Betty Willman's class. Betty Willman, B-W, like Bonnie Wright. You know, the school system in fucking Lu uh, in America fucking goddamn owes me fucking goddamn an educational fucking, you know, I should be fucking so fucking pissed off with revenge. I should just want to fucking, unbelievable. I'd like to take these people that fucking cause all this shit right to fucking the Middle East and fucking beat the fuck out of them where they can't goddamn run. You know, yeah, you want to run now? Ha, ha, ha. I took you to Gaza Strip. Now you got fucking rubble to look at, motherfucker. 
you know, that's how my fucking day feels, and I fucking just want to crumble these bitches and throw them right in the goddamn crumbling pile where they deserve Jerry right. I don't give a fuck if he's my brother. You know, my fucking girlfriend had her hands cut off. These people down there, they want to cause a goddamn racial war. George Fairhart deserves to have his fucking teeth knocked out with a goddamn two-by-four, and I'll fucking shove it right up his ass and fucking knock his teeth out the wrong fucking direction. I mean, son of a bitch. My friends got murdered. person got murdered on my bed, Terry Lance Shortridge. How do you fucking replace that, George Fairhart? How do you fucking replace that, Bruce Kimsey? How do you replace that, Jerry Wright? How do you replace that Marietta Wright? How do you pr replace that Patty Wright? Or James L James Martin Wright? You know, James was J James was forced. And that fucking Patty, you know, Patty and Jim was downstairs. Patty knew that he was going to get fucking murdered before Jim walked back upstairs and did it. And she was just as guilty as if she had something to do with that girl getting her fucking hands cut off because here me here are my girlfriends waiting at my house for me when I get off from fucking work and they're sitting there met George and Judy and I mean Judy Gall she could actually be fucking part of their whole goddamn thing I'll tell you another thing when that bowling alley was built they had a fucking party in that fucking bowling alley and I wasn't even invited and I seen pictures of my family all there my Aunt Jeannie, my Aunt Janae, I didn't see Jack, never, I didn't see Jack there, but I seen Janae there, they were all playing foosball, my Aunt Jeannie was there, I mean, they may even say, well, I've never been in that bowl, the fuck, they haven't, I've seen pictures of them there, and it, to be honest with you, it fucking offended me just as bad as, uh, my dad's getting married, and I didn't even know he got fucking married, and they all fucking had a wedding with the guy. I mean, I've seen pictures of Debbie there. I've seen pictures of the family there in the background. I've seen pictures of Dad, Judy, getting married. You know, her dad gave me his suit before he died. He wanted me to have a suit. Remember him? I mean, how about his dog, Norjack? Quicker than, sweeter than candy, quicker than liquor, you know, and the little dog got ragdolled by a big dog, yeah, 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 yeah. big dog just grabbed it, fucking rattled it around, you know, I mean, almost, I think I had to take it to the veterinarian, and the veterinarian said, it's cheaper if we just put it down, he says, I could save you a whole bunch of money, and my dad's there, oh. I said, oh, you better fix it, you know, I mean, it's my dad. I mean, so I had the dog fixed. It cost 500 and some bucks. It cost five. It cost like 500 fucking bucks just to even, you know, whatever it was. He tells me, I want you to buy my car. It's got to be 550. 550. Well, it's got to be 550 for Judy. I'm like, whatever, you know. 550 would make you happy on your deathbed down you know i mean jesus christ what do you do to fucking make some another fucking clue oh well, he'll just fucking buy the fucking car you know okay 550 it is they're done <laughs> you know i'll give you the fucking money there i don't want to hear no more about that goddamn car again and you know who came and bought that car for me don burgess's brother daryl burgess DB, like DB Cooper. <laughs> <coughs> well, they're all fucking pigs. They're pigs in blankets. They're all fucking rocks. The fucking, the people that are selling the drugs are the same people as the cops' as friends. They, you know, these are guys that they walk around like, man, you don't want to get busted around this place, dude. Dude. <laughs> Hey man, you want my sweet fucking? And they're the fucking pigs. You know they're they're getting the fucking. And by the way, now hey man, fuck, I go over there and buy fucking weed from these guys all the time. They don't give a fuck. I buy weed. I don't give a fuck. 
I'm not going to say anything when I leave. I fucking make sure I don't get busted on the way home. But now if the cops bust you between your house and their house, well, these people are off the hook. And, you know, this is just a clear case of these pigs fucking got you, even though they know what you're driving. And they go after a bunch of, yeah, yeah, he's on his way from that way. See if you can fucking pull him over for something. I'm all the way on his ass. You can just tell that this goddamn shit's happening. You know, here, I go, I go up Morton, and I get a fucking hit put on me at the fucking bar. Right there where the bowling alley is, the little one in the basement. I come up from the 2x4 mill. Mike Pedersen, he's down there at the 2x4 mill, and he's my scoutmaster. And I haven't even talked this part of the story. He won't even talk to me. He looks at me. I seen him, like, going and smirking and looking at me like there's something fucking up. He was the cop that was in our house when Jim was shooting at I me. Mean, Jim, I shot too. Jim told me to shoot the fucking gun. He says, shoot that, shoot, you know, whatever you want to shoot. I uh, shoot that light over there. I fucking reached up there. I fucking popped fucking glass fucking shots. I shut the light. I didn't shut it off. I knocked the fucking glass out of it though. And then I uh, looked over there right at the Goebbels house, right at the pitch of their fucking ceiling right there. I fucking put a fucking bullet right on the fucking, on their eve. And pretty soon, you know, Jim takes off, pop, pop, a couple things. Boy, I bet you anything, it was my bullet that got the fucking attention of the cops come because I shot Goebbels' house right behind my house, right there on their fucking eaves, so they fucking hear that fucking BAM! <laughs> because I'm telling you, bad things were happening in my house, and I fucking, I fucking nailed their house for that goddamn reason. <laughs> and the next thing I know... The fucking cops come, and me and Jim's up the steps, he goes, Jim, bring the gun down. You know, they knew my brother Jim's name, but see it, shit, Jim doesn't even go to school. He just hides out around the town, fucking going around in fucking circles doing his things. Now, look, I'm going to have to cut this off, but the main thing is, is we got to vote for women this year. We're going to have to go with blue. We can't trust Donald Trump. You know, I used to be a rape, I used to, I... I want to vote a uh, Democrat, and by the way, if I'm a Republican um, and I vote Democrat, will my fucking vote get fucking thrown out? Because there's a problem with the voting thing. In 19 or 2021, they changed the fucking voting law, so you got to vote straight ticket in your party. If you don't vote in your party, your ticket gets thrown away. So now if I vote fucking straight fucking blue, they'll throw my vote away because I'm outside of the fucking party if that's the case. You know, so I'm going to have to re-register under a uh, Democrat. I think I'm going to have to change into that. But I fo tell you folks the same thing. You better check into it because I'm pretty sure they did change it. And I'm going to be checking for my own self because I'm going to make sure that I'm registered the, the right way. As a matter of fact, I'm going to be contacting them real soon. I might even buy a fucking brand new goddamn car because I feel so much better. I haven't been to the grocery store in 10 fucking years. I get groceries delivered to me. I have, And you know what? I don't mind the fucking service, except when they fucking send fucking weirdos out there to bother me, and Walmart did. I don't buy shit from Walmart no more. T-E-M-U dot com. They'll save you 40 fucking percent. You can spend your money any place you want. Have a nice day. Thank you. Bye-bye.